Okay guys, so I'm here with my good friend Rejoice. So Rejoice, I want to interview you today. I'm shooting a vlog for like this lockdown that we're currently facing. So I just want to hear like your thoughts and how, like what do you think about it? Is it beneficial or is it a hindrance or like what are your thoughts about the lockdown on the school? I think Hello? this thing of the school locking us in is actually a good thing because it's protecting us from the outside world like we don't know what's happening out there with this virus and out there people are sick every day people are dying people are being admitted but with us being <coughs> locked down in here it's safe because actually from no one have been sick ever since we were logged in like it's actually have been protecting us it actually makes us feel safe knowing that no one is going out, no one is coming in. The chances are very low for us to be mm. sick with this virus. So I think it's actually a good thing. Uh, for example, the school is doing its best. They provided us noodles so that people won't die with hunger. <laughs> they are making sure that if you want some stuff, they are sending like authorities to go out, buy us food, whatever we want, they are providing. We can't get everything, but yes, they are trying. For me, I support this thing of locking us in. Because, like, if we were all allowed to go out, everyone will go wherever they want. And this sickness could spread and you never know where it came from. So, it's a good thing that they are locking us in. I support it. I yeah. support it, really. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah, those are quite good answers. I, I agree a lot of what you've said ah, that's really nice mm -hmm. okay rejoice thank you for your time thank you victor <laughs> see ya see ya okay so we're here with irene hi so irene today i just want to ask you like what your thoughts on this lockdown like what what do you feel about the situation first of all the the virus itself it's it's a big scare mm. and it's um it's a big thing right now it's scary it's wild feels like we're dying tomorrow <laughs> you know every 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 morning you wake up and you're like am i not sick am i fine and then um the the lockdown is it's not helping right now mm. it's um it makes us feel like we're in prison okay uh we don't have necessary things no shops open no just no air like you can't go mm. out anywhere you like can't you feel walk. like a cage uh, yeah and then and then this is the thing like normally winters are just always like this but yeah. this one is worse because you can't even go out for a walk mm. like you're just inside the whole time sometimes you don't have food sometimes you have to cut down what you eat so that you can yeah. have something to eat tomorrow yeah and then the fact that we just don't know what's coming tomorrow you don't know when we're going to open school, when we're going to start, everything. There's just nothing going on. What of like the school? Do you think this system of like take the, like we ask them what we want and they go by? Do you think it's like helpful or it's not helping at all? To be honest, it's really helping because first of all, it's a, it's for our own health. Mm -hmm. People don't have masks, so yeah. what, if people went out without masks, they'll come with diseases, with the, not diseases, coronavirus. And then, like, plus no, there are no shops open anyway, there are no markets open, so the school knows where to buy things, mm. so it's, um, it's better. And it's for our own good, it's just stressing, the whole thing is just stressing, but them locking, locking down the school and, and not giving us permission to go out is actually helping. Yeah. Okay, they are very interesting points. Yeah, I think what you said is true about like the feeling caged. Because I also sometimes no, just don't like feeling caged. Even uh, at least if at a certain degree, maybe they can open yeah. some shops within school, or like you know just give us something to do. Cause like all we do is like sleep and do nothing every day. You know just. It, it, I think it adds more to the stress yes. of this thing being locked down. Yes. You're really feeling it that, okay, this thing is if, a real if, thing. If everything was going on, we wouldn't, we wouldn't feel like this virus yeah. is serious. Plus, even the shops, people who are selling on the shops, they are also trying to not go out. 
Yeah. So it's everyone is trying not to go out, and I think it's a whole China thing. The the government is trying to keep people inside. I don't think they they can't make enough masks though. It's China. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Thank you for your time. I'm really glad. Ah, get thank to know you. Your thank thoughts. you. Thank you for having me on your vlog. But then you have very very interesting things. Oh. Are you watching? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Hey guys, okay, so I'm here with my boy Chiza Achan. Yeah, Achan, boy, Achan, Laka. Laka. Easy, best, no, best. Easy. So, Wakamba, today, fuck me, Shaq Fiat, uh, this, this, this lockdown, this coronavirus situation, yeah. like, how is it affecting you? Is it a good thing that the school is on lockdown or is it a bad thing? Yeah. Are you satisfied with the, like, the security they're providing or Shan? First of all, mm. to be honest, this feels like a, like I, ju I just survived the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> like this place feels so dry. Yeah. You go outside, you're just alone. You, you just, like, you can even hear your heartbeat from a distance. <laughs> There's an echo. <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. Um, I think the world perceives this whole thing differently. Mm. Like, us from here, the ones that are feeling it firsthand are the like we can really tell the truth about it yeah this has really it's really like put us down a lot and so inconveniencing you're just indoors you wake up you can't even go further than just like a few steps from your room and come back get back to your room that's it like that's what we basically d d uh, do like each and every day yeah. it's crazy man and then you have to move around with masks and and whatnot you have to cover yourself all the time it's hard. Like I've never, I've never been so, like I've never felt so, caged. you know, caged. I feel yeah. caged. I don't feel free, man. I feel, I feel like a, a slave all, all together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all in all, man, like this, this has really inconvenienced uh, like foreigners um, around China right now. I feel like going back home is is not such a, uh, a bad idea. But again, uh, going back home would, would just mean that it would just spread the whole thing again, you know. Mm. And back home, they don't even have facilities. So for those in China, it's best to stay. If you if you can afford it, go home, go and chill, go and you know. Mm, At least if you feel safe back home, just go and be around the family and whatnot. But trust me, it's it's so hard to live in such a hard hard situation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that's very true. A lot of people do feel caged, and some people like, you know, aren't just satisfied with such situations. Yeah. Some people like really need a lot to live, yeah, and like sure. the school, like at least if they could open even like one of the shops, you know, yeah, so that we can have like man, a grocery store, so that we can yeah, buy like yeah. necessities. Because even like just basic toiletries, we have to yeah. tell them, and it will take long for them just to go and order that that stuff. You see, yeah. so. It's, it's really rough. Yo, let me just say this, man. Overnight. <laughs> like, all the tissue finished, man. Like, <laughs> there's no food, no toiletries, no soap, like, whatever. Like, there's absolutely nothing to do here. I, I'm not asking for help from anybody. Or, or Like, what I'm pleading for is for, the, like, the government to just, you know, make things easier for, for foreigners because we've never been in such a situation. Yeah. We've survived AIDS, we've survived Ebola, but this is the <laughs> harshest, man. <laughs> this is harsh, man. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Chaser. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, interesting thoughts. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff. Hit the bell. Yeah. Hey, guys. So today I'm joined with... Teta? Yes, Mr. Teta. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm also okay. So today we're talking about the coronavirus situation and how the school's been put on lockdown. Uh, so do you feel safe like being on lockdown or is it a problem for you that we can't go out to the school or what are your thoughts? Okay, me, I think being here inside it's better than going outside. We don't, we don't know where we can get those coronavirus because it's an um, air bomb. So I think we can stay inside. It's better. They're trying to protect. But yeah. do you 
part of like uh, the food situation like what if you run out of food and you're not allowed to go outside and there's this system that they've set up like you send people to go buy for you food do you think it's okay or it's not okay yeah like uh, even those food i don't even trust them mm. and another issue of that sometimes we order food we don't know the like the price what like, eh, they will bring you a tissue that is 91 and they will tell you pay 21 yeah so it's too hard so that's the only problem we're facing yeah. like they will bring you some food stuff and they are going to be so expensive yeah. and you don't have that money and they can't they can't turn it back mm. so that's the problem oh uh, yeah all right Okay, thank you for your time. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with Mr. Script. So Mr. Script, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah so today we're talking about the coronavirus issue and like the lockdown upon the school. Like what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's safe or do you have any problems with it? Mm. Well, the lockdown is safe. It's safe for us. Yeah. Uh, right now, it, it shows that the school really cares about the students. Mm. Yeah, but you see, as you are not able to go out from the school, it also creates some inconvenience. Yeah. 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 So uh, I just I just hope uh, that this all of this uh, the, this thing uh, is able to be sorted out. Uh, yeah, just hope. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, on the do you think like it to create problems like on the food because like the food might run out. Yeah. And you're not to go out. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's going to create that problem. It's going to create that problem because right now. Um, if no food is coming into the system right yeah. now. Farmers are not bringing food in, uh -huh. right? so it's just uh, in stock food which we are using right now. Yeah, so if, yeah. if 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 this shit ra uh, runs out, <laughs> yeah, <all> the <laughs> <You'll be left laughs> <side. laughs> there is going to be a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, running out of food and supplies. Yeah. It is quite yeah, a, it's uh, quite a problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. do you feel safe, like inside the school? Well, inside the school, inside the school, I feel safe. Inside the school, I feel safe. Yeah. But still, you have to go out a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bro. Uh, you have to go out a bit. Well, see, we are humans. We are humans. See, yeah. It's just like prison. <laughs> you can't be confined uh, to for too long here. It's gonna cause a, a, a distress. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna cause, cause a distress. It has even started. I think it has even started. Yeah, a lot of people. Are oh, that's even and... Friday. I'm even going out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Script. Thank you for your time. Sure, sure. Hey guys, so I'm back here with Mr. Felix. Felix, how are you today? I'm fine, bro. I'm fine. Yeah, so today we are talking about the coronavirus situation and the lockdown on the school. So, like, how do you feel on this situation? Like, the school being on lockdown, how, what are your thoughts on that? Mm, so far, you know, like, we are blocked all the way, you know, like, it's like a prison, you know. We cannot do anything outside. We are afraid, you know. Anytime we can feel like we're affected, you know. So, it's looking at looking at us here, you know, some people they feel they get depression. They're not feeling okay, you know. They're thinking about, you know, the situation outside. What's happening outside? Yeah. So everyone is worried about outside. What's happening tomorrow? You know, everyone is worried. You know, like, you know, it's too hard for us right here. Uh, okay. And on the part like we don't have like shops where to buy food, you can run out of food. Yeah. And on the situation for where you give people the list and they go buy food for you, do you think that's okay or it's not okay? Uh, so far, like it's not okay because like you know we had the way we eat. Mm -hmm. You know we don't eat like uh, uh, nowadays we don't eat like the way we used to eat before yeah, so yeah. some of us we are not taking the food like the, the way we used to take it so it, it, we are not taking balanced diet like mm -hmm. the way we used to take it so we just eat to, to survive yeah. not eat, to eat like to get healthy yeah, yeah. Okay. but do you feel safe so far right here we can feel safe but we are not actually safe you know? yeah. we are worried outside we're seeing cases that are growing up you yeah, know? Yeah, sometimes yeah. people they see they're lying outside but we do believe like that because we don't know what's happening tomorrow because we are worried too much because what we do expect like it's going to be 
okay mm-hmm. you know we wake up when we see other news that that, that 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 saying that's too hot for us we, we don't know when it's gonna it's gonna end yeah so we are worried too much some of us are planning to go back home there's no plans to go no tax no taxes no buses no train so we are locked down you know yes. life is completely yeah it's no, a real no. difficult situation yeah, exactly. yeah. and get you oh. It's nice to hear your opinion and your thoughts on the situation okay hey guys so i'm here with hancho yeah it's your boy hancho so today hancho i just want to like get your opinion on something yeah so yeah. today we're talking about uh, the lockdown like the coronavirus issue like the lockdown of the school do you think it's a good thing do you think it's helping or it's hindering like what are your opinions on the lockdown for the school uh what i think like uh the school is like they are, they are trying to like to protect us like, from the virus but uh for us like we are we are facing like too many difficulties like we can't go out uh for shopping uh fresh air like we've been in school uh, in the dormitory for like uh two weeks now and it's it's, it's becoming an issue so I don't know it's like two uh, two sided thing. Uh. Oh, okay. For the school it's fine like they're trying to protect us but for us yeah. like it's too much. We can't be inside for yeah. for two weeks. Like even like you can't go out to buy food and everything. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. like there are issue where you you give them your list and they go buy for you stuff. I don't mm-hmm. think it's that efficient. No, 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 it isn't. Yeah. Because even for the for the girls that are buying for us things, even for them, like, it's uh, too, too, too much work for them. So. Mm, like buying for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's, like, that efficient. No, no, it isn't. Yeah. Okay. But do you think it's helping, like, to stop the spread of the virus? No, it's not helping because every day, like, the numbers are going up. Mm. And so... No matter like uh, what they are doing, uh, the restrictions, these things they, they they are putting in place. I think I I don't I don't think it's it's helping like like because uh, the the numbers are always going up. So I don't think anything uh, anything they are doing is helping. So yeah. okay. Interesting thoughts. Okay, Hanjo, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and I, I think for the uh, foreign students, the only thing that everyone ha- has to do is just to go back home and wait for this situation to to cool down. Then we come back. But yeah. staying here, it's, it's very dangerous staying here because it's it's just becoming more dangerous every day. You wake up, you hear many cases, many deaths. So it's better we all go back. Okay. Yeah. Because you might not know when, you might just wake up and you think someone has it in school. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really scary. Because now, it's... no no DD, no mm. taxis, no buses. Uh, like in our city, there is no any form of transport. Even just to go like to the nearby, uh, what's this, nearby mall, you have to walk. Yeah. Uh, there is no form of transport, so... We don't know. Maybe tomorrow we can't even like go back home. So this is the only time we have to like find ways to go back home. Mm. Yeah, and leave this place. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for your time. Thank you for yeah. your thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with Brinsebra. Yes, Mr. Brinsebra. Uh, how are you today? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, so today we're talking about the coronavirus situation and the lockdown on schools. Like, what do you think about the lockdown? Is it helping or do you feel caged or what are your opinion? No, for me, it's completely like safe for us and it's better that uh, we're inside because really this situation is too serious Mm -hmm. as like those people outside China can see on the news. It's too serious. Like every day, man, I'm getting calls, 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 family, friends mm-hmm. about the situation. But yeah. for us inside China, we can't see that it's it, that uh, how much is serious. Yeah. But is it? It's serious. It is. Yeah. Okay. What of like? Do you think it's a hindrance? Cause like we don't have 
access like to go buy our own food and supplies like we have to give people a list to go buy for us do you think it's efficient or maybe there's a problem there no for me it's fine it's fine yeah it's, it's fine it's completely fine even like if you are not going out for you you are safe if you are inside yeah so it's better for me i just give list and they bring me what what i what i need and it's okay Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Ms. Eva. You are welcome. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm back here with... Lindy. Hey Lindy, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, so today we're talking about the coronavirus situation, like the lockdowns on, on the schools, like what are your thoughts on it? What do you think about it? Is it safe or do you have a problem? Oh, the lockdown. Of course it's safe for our students because like... The fact that you don't have any communication, any contact to the outside world, like, it means a lot. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, we're not going to get sick. They can't come to us. We can't go to them. Yeah. It's good for us, but it's also bad for us. Mm -hmm. Like, as you can see now, our school has stopped. We're no longer going to study or something. We're just sitting here doing nothing. Yeah. It's like our lives have stopped. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Our reason for coming to China is just freezed because okay. there's some virus. Yeah, yeah because... Like yeah. when you're not going to classes, so it's like your life is just on a standstill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what of the situation for like food and supplies? Like when you run out of supplies, you have to give people a list and they go and buy. Sometimes they take two days or something. So do you think it's efficient or there's a problem there? Oh, the issue of food, me, like seriously, I don't have much trouble with food. Because mm. like, I kind of bought a lot, but food... There is a very huge problem with food because, yeah. like, for us, like, for instance, in our school, like, we ask them, like, can you buy us food? And then when they go to buy us food, they buy us completely different from yeah. what we actually want. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the same time, for us, we are not allowed to go and buy ourselves food. Like, mm -hmm. no, they say we give money to other students that they buy for us, but still, it's still like, bad yeah, because they, okay. even if they go to buy for you they won't buy exactly like what, what you want, want. Yeah, yeah they don't know what i want yeah we yeah. are not the same like we don't have the same things but for, for at least the school is trying something i'm not complaining that much yeah okay okay but do you feel safe like right now for you alone okay i'm not that scared but i don't feel safe you don't <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah it's a tough situation it's very bad yeah yeah all right, Miss Lindy, thank you for your time. Wow. <laughs>